And speaking of SpaceX, we are learning more about a new plan to send tourists into space. Yesterday, we told you about a new partnership involving SpaceX that would launch private citizens into outer space from Cape Canaveral. Today, News 6's James Barbero is taking a closer look at that record-breaking mission. What? This spring or summer, NASA's commercial crew astronauts are expected to fill two seats on SpaceX's Crew Dragon. Now imagine up to four seats taken by private astronauts flying at the highest altitude ever by tourists. Up to a five-day flight, two or three times higher than the International Space Station that SpaceX says will forge a path to making spaceflight possible for all people who dream of it. Tuesday, SpaceX announced a partnership with Space Adventures. The private space exploration company says while 600 people have gone to space, just seven have been private astronauts. It's exciting because it comes on the heels of all the Crew Dragon demo flights that they've had, the preparation sending astronauts to space from American soil from Florida. Space Florida says Dragon's crewed mission will pave the way for the customers. Space Florida expecting the first tourist Crew Dragon flights in maybe two years, should the multi-million dollar tickets be secured. I choose to go to the moon. SpaceX already has a private space flight mission scheduled for 2023 with a Japanese billionaire who wants to fly around the moon. Do you foresee the day where you don't have to be a billionaire or a Powerball winner when is this going to be potentially affordable for anybody? For sure, I think that's probably gonna come quicker than we think. The more they do it, the more people that are interested, the lower that price will get. On the Space Coast, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.